Hi everyone, my name's Jane and welcome to this video. The reason I recorded this is because I was trying to organise my own Valentine's Day. This video is going to cover all aspects of Valentine's Day. We'll start with events that are happening digitally in Galway. Then we'll move on to gifts from local artists, suppliers and local businesses. And then we will move on to, for you true locals, we will move on to some fun food things that are happening. Main event that's happening on Valentine's Day is the Dirty Circus Valentine Special. So if you're into burlesque, pole dancing, comedy, anything like that, the lads out in the Roisin Dove will sort you out. I love Tommy and Kitty who run the Dirty Circus. It's a great bunch of lads. I believe Dee Keevney will be doing a performance at it, who's a fantastic dancer. It is 10 euro and it will take place over Zoom and I would highly recommend it for a bit of crack. The next event not happening on Valentine's Day but around that week also by the Roisin Dove is the Comedy Carnival. Uh, who doesn't love a bit of live comedy? Eh? We all need a bit of a laugh in these dark, dark times. So the Comedy Carnival will be happening on February 19th and it will feature Russell Kane, Paul McCaffrey and Josh Jones. It's a mixed bill of comedians. Again, I believe it's about 10 euro and I think we all need a laugh these days. So why not go and purchase a ticket? The next event that's happening is a series of events which are wire workshops by Glenn Gibson. Glenn Gibson is a very talented sculptor and I will talk about him a little bit later, but just to insert some trees that he makes, uh, he is doing a wire workshop for beginners through Zoom. So you purchase your package, your wire package, and then he does a series of workshops, I believe two or three times a month. So he is based in Galway. If you purchase it today, you will most likely get it before the weekend. And I believe that there's a workshop on Saturday. So it could be something really, really fun. The class is about two hours and you do walk away with a tree at the end of it. So would highly, highly recommend. Back to the Roisin Dove, as they seem to be one of the only promoters in Fair Play Tea for putting on events. The Karma Police Radiohead Tribute Band are playing on Friday night over Zoom. So why not go check it out, start your Valentine's Day a little bit early and have a few drinks. If you're looking for more of a cultural or artistic activity to do for the day, you can take a virtual tour of the Galway City Museum. It's actually super interesting. I always, you know, back before these times would go into the kitchen and then have a little wander around the museum. So many things, even for Galway locals that maybe if you've been in there, you've missed and they do change up the exhibitions. I know that they're uh, is an installation from Galway 2020 in there at the minute so yeah I'd highly recommend checking it out it's all 360 kind of tour and it's it's a really cool virtual tour the next one is for all those gamers out there I know a lot of us have become gamers during lockdown so it's the Fish Game Summit and it's hosted by Galway Film Centre there it'll be a mix of um, panel discussions and conversations they have Warren Spector and they have Brenda uh, Romero talking about their careers in gaming and it just seems like a really, really fun event. Again, you can book it through Eventbrite and sure, what else are we all doing? The next event is starting Valentine's week, but it is continuing for several weeks and it is the Women Writers of the West Online Book Club. So it's run by Galway Public Libraries. There are three different speakers, which will be Elaine Feeney, Mary Costello and Nuala O'Connor, who are all established writers. Very exciting lineup of speakers well worth attending. I believe it's free and you can join it through Eventbrite also. So presents, cutting it a bit fine. I have yet to buy my presents. So who hasn't purchased their presents yet? Here are a list of local sculptors, artists, photographers, pottery makers that you can purchase the whole bunch of price points so I'm just going to list them out and give examples around my head. First up is Neve Daniels. She creates silk scarves inspired by the West of Ireland landscape. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're in lots of retail outlets but I would highly recommend going to her website directly. She's an absolutely talented, gorgeous human, really really nice person um, great gift to perhaps buy your other half or your mom. I just, I absolutely love her stuff. The photography is gorgeous from the site. I'll put it around here. And I would just really love if you went and supported her. The packaging is also gorgeous. She hand packages everything herself and it's, it's just a really, really beautiful luxury product. Next up is Julia Dunin. 
an amazing photographer. I will leave her work around here. She has worked all different types of commercial jobs. She's been featured on many, many covers and an all round gorgeous human being. And she is selling her fine art photography prints. I believe you can also have the option of getting them framed, but if you just want to print for the day, that's handy. I'm sure she could post them out to you. And I'll leave a link to her store down below. Next up that I previously mentioned in events is Glenn Gibson, who is a wire sculptor based in Galway. He's also the director of a non-profit called Art in Mind, which is a bunch of art studios out in the Lisbon Industrial Estate. Really cool project, not biased at all, <clears throat> but I would highly recommend buying something off Glenn. He has a whole range of price points from his most austere, beautiful trees. I'll try and insert pictures here. Um, all the way down to, I believe one of his cheapest products is the Connemara Hawthorn tree, which is a symbol of love and um, was often, I believe that old Irish brides wore the flowers from Connemara Hawthorn trees in their hair on their wedding day. So the packaging is phenomenal. It looks really, really gorgeous. It comes so beautifully wrapped and I believe the price point for those trees is 125 euro and um, ships anywhere in Ireland. Next up is Margaret Nolan. She has been a Galway artist in residence for many years. You might have seen her murals really all over town, but she has done murals for the Latin Quarter. She also does the window dressing for a lot of pubs around town, and she has been the one painting the electrical boxes around Galway City for the last number of years. Uh, Margaret has embarked on a new project, which I absolutely love. I have one of them hanging behind me. Uh, you can't really see it. I'll insert a picture. Um, she very kindly gifted me a picture of my favourite pub, T Nocton's. So she is doing a whole series of pubs around Ireland and it's a mix of photography and painting. So she is selling those prints on her website, which I will link down below. Next up is Catherine Fleming. She's an up and coming artist. Again, wonderful artist, beautiful human. She paints very emotive work, beautiful landscapes, beautiful figures, and I'll insert some of her work here. Very, very reasonable price points, and I'll link to her Instagram down below. Next up is Gala Tommaso. You may know Gala's work if you've ever visited the coffee shop Coffee Work, as she does the little illustrations on the cups. Beautiful artist, she does really, really fun art. I own a couple of her cups, which may have swear words on them absolutely hilarious gifts i believe the cup started 10 euro she also makes um really funky little driftwood pieces and little sculptures so there's a price point there for everyone if you're looking for a beautiful card i would highly recommend going to photo by marta her work is often in display in local shops and charlie burns however with lockdown she is selling stuff online so she's selling prints she's selling cards and she's selling bags Really humorous, really beautiful. Her work is very cool, very attractive and features a lot of collage. So I would highly recommend checking out some of her hilarious cards that she has. Another sculptor I would recommend is Connor Malone sculpture. He is based in Dublin. However, a lot of his work is based in Galway at the Art and Mind studio. He creates really fun wire sculpture. I'll insert some images uh, around me here. Really colourful, really bright and just really funky and different. He's an up and comer, he's in his mid-twenties and I really truly feel that if you purchase a piece from him now it's going to be a lot more valuable in the future. So if you find his work fun, quirky and would like to buy someone something special then I would highly recommend his work. My final artist is Shane O'Malley. If you've lived in Galway or are based in Galway, you would definitely know Shane's work. He does a lot of murals around town, really funky graffiti artist. He is also selling canvases and prints. So I will link his very colorful and standout work down below. So next up are places that you can support locally. And first up is the Galway food tours. You can purchase vouchers right now. I know we're in the middle of all of this, but Sheena will be jumping right back on it when we open things back up. There are multiple tours that you can go on. There are whiskey tasting, there is lots of different food tours, and there is a dessert tour, which I am personally very excited about. The price points are amazing for all of the food and alcohol and everything that you get on the tour. The reviews online 
are absolutely amazing. So I would definitely go and buy a voucher and it's something to look forward to after all of this. If you're looking for a physical gift that would be available for Valentine's Day, why not go to Charlie Burns? Because they are amazing. They've been voted one of the best bookshops in the world. Uh, Vinny, the general manager in there, is an absolute legend. And why not get yourself something to read? Charlie Burns have a huge array of books. There's really so many. And if you ring them and you are looking for something specific, they can get it in for you much better than going and buying stuff on Amazon, support local, all that kind of stuff. You might have seen this really cute shop on Shop Street and it's called The Sheep. They do a whole range of wool products, really beautiful packaging again. They do deliver in Ireland. Um, they do the general socks, slippers, that sort of stuff. So if you're looking for a gift that anyone would generally like, I would highly recommend checking them out. And finally, for local businesses, why not buy your other half a bunch of flowers? I love receiving sunflowers and I love flowers.ie. They're based, their main office is now based out in the Lisbon Industrial Estate. They do all sorts of deals. They can do boxes. They can include wine and chocolates and all that sort of things. So it's really a one-stop shop if you want to get a bunch of gifts and put it in a basket and get it delivered to your door. For those of you who do not live locally, sadly, this is the end of the relevant content for you. And please like and subscribe down below. But for those of you who do live locally and are thinking about uh, treating yourself on Valentine's Day, I have some food options because who doesn't love food? Get breakfast delivered to your door. Why not? There are multiple places serving breakfast to your door. The one that I have my eye on is Graze and Gather. So they do a large box. They're based out in my Cullen. It just looks really nice and um, I really want to support them. In terms of restaurants that have pushed it out of the park this year, I've got to give it to Harry's Bar. I will definitely be purchasing something off them. They are doing gift boxes and it includes a rose, it includes chocolates from a local Galway chocolatier and it also has six cocktails of your choice. So fair play Harry's. You can also, for an additional 30 euro I believe, you can add uh, a food order onto it and you get chicken wings and sliders and all that kind of stuff. So all in 90 quid you have cocktails, food, chocolates and you know a rose and packaging so fair play lads. Cook's Wine Bar are also doing a meal for two special and they are doing a starter, a main course, dessert and a bottle of wine for 70 quid. I really love their food. The lamb in particular is amazing. So if you are just not bothered cooking on Valentine's Day, go and get something special for yourself. My final shout out to local food businesses is Trieste. Absolute legends who own it. Trieste are blown it out of the park on social media and they're also doing amazing with their takeaway boxes but their Valentine's Day special is something I'm very excited about. If you are a cheese lover, wine lover, all that kind of stuff, they're doing a big platter of everything for fruits and dates and pecans and crackers and pretzels and multiple types of cheeses and you can also get a bottle of Prosecco or you know red or white depending on whatever you want so their packaging is gorgeous and the way that they display their stuff is just absolutely phenomenal really phenomenal and the owners are unbelievably sound so i would love if you could show them some support and order a gorgeous box of food delivered to your door to be enjoyed on valentine's day thanks so much for watching this video it's really important to shop local in these times I know that all of the artists, all of the local businesses really appreciate the support. Just a disclaimer, obviously with my millions of followers, I have not been paid. None of this is sponsored. No one's doing me any favours. I'm not getting it. If anyone wants to send me something for free, though, I'll happily take it. Uh, but just so that you guys know, these are true recommendations from me. So go and check them out. I've got your Valentine's Day sorted. I think that deserves a definite like and subscribe to my channel. And please share it out if you know people who don't have their Valentine's Day sorted out yet. So thanks a million guys. Chat to you in the next one. Mm -hmm.